What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream, uh, 6.40 p.m. West Coast time on this April 24th, 2021, Saturday evening. Uh, out here in California, stream just went down. I forgot PG&E was going to do a uh, quick adjustment on the uh, uh, something to do with the po local power station around my area. I completely spaced it off, so uh, I do appreciate the comments there on the Facebook uh, Earthmaster page letting me know that the stream was down. I uh, was notified yesterday from pg &E. I just completely spaced it off. So stream is back up and running. Just going to do a quick update video. There's not a whole lot of movement to report following yesterday's 6.5 earthquake there around the Tonga region. In fact, earthquake activity on the dwindling side and on the quiet side for the moment all across the Pacific Plate. Uh, a little bit of further movement over here along the Chile area, Peru-Chile Trench inland into the subduction zone. Uh, but other than that, there's not a whole lot to discuss here in the update video tonight. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and bring up the... Uh, uh, there we go, the USGS map there. That was uh, one of the volcanoes there in the uh, St. Vincent area. I was kind of looking at earlier some uh, eruption activity going on there. Uh, so here's the latest information on the USGS 24-hour map here of uh, 2.5 and above. You can see not a whole lot of significant movement. Just 5.0 up here along the Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands area. Pretty deep into the subduction zone, 110 kilometers well inland into the, the Aleutian Trench, the northern end, northern section of the um, uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, other than that, there's not, a, like I said, not a whole lot, folks. There's a little, little earthquake over here, 5.6, um, striking out in the Owen Fracture Zone, uh, just south of Omen, the Yemen area, Arabian Sea, right along this little plate boundary here, Gulf of Eden, or Aden, I should say. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot. I'm telling you what, it's pretty quiet right now. I could have swore that 6.5 would have uh, triggered something in motion. Maybe it did, and it's just going to be worse than uh, than what it's ex what we're expecting. Um, Got to go down to the all magnitudes here to see the activity in Hawaii. Even then, not a whole lot to write home about, folks. 25 measly earthquakes along the uh, within the Big Island. Not a whole lot of movement. A little small cluster near uh, Mauna Loa. But other than that, we're looking at diminishing activity there in the big island for now. Uh, same for the west coast. Not a whole lot of significant movement, folks. Just a little waiting game. There has been a little bit of earthquake activity up here south of Eureka. Uh, kind of some deep movement as well. You can see that 2.1 striking inland into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. Just on the southern end, we have been watching this area uh, pretty specifically and, and closely. Uh, as we've seen earthquake activity taking place around this region and further to the west and north at some fairly deep levels so it looks like uh, at least tonight activity remains somewhat elevated in this area with that 2.1 showing up uh, just a little bit ago uh, at a fairly deep level there 36 kilometers below surface for that 2.1 inland south of the uh, uh, Cascadia Megathrust area inland uh, down into the subduction zone uh, let's see if the trimmer map is out real quick. I'm kind of curious to see what. Yes, it is. I'll be darned. So we got 386 epicenters with continued further movement down south here. You can see that uh, activity there. The trimmer uh, being reported inland, down dip, downstream of the of the uh, locked area, the Cascadia subduction zone locked area. And this explains the uh, continued earthquake activity at the surface uh, that we're seeing. Let's go ahead and show that again real quick. Uh, the all magnitudes map here and this explains the surface kind of somewhat I can't really say they're surface quaking because they are kind of deep uh, especially this 36 kilometer deep one uh, but this, this explains the buildup of, of back building of pressure that are tri that is triggering uh, somewhat of these larger quakes and 2.1 is not a larger quake but it's still showing up as an actual earthquake instead of a tremor a lot of trimmers into central Oregon once again. This has been ongoing for about a week now, just confined to this area. Um, I still firmly believe the further, uh, the more continued that we see this happening, uh, the greater chances of seeing a little bit uh, more activity along the Cascadia, possibly uh, you know a little bit larger earthquake in the vicinity. So uh, good to be on guard in this region of the West Coast. Some deep movement as well into Washington, Seattle area, seeing a 1.8 and a 2.2 at about 27 kilometers below surface. Uh, so some deep movement all around the West Coast area. 
Southern California looking pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement. There's a uh, little red circle there, 2.1 near, uh, looks like Independence, California, 14 kilometers deep. Uh, just a lot of deep movement all over the place. Uh, not not deep, deep, you know, but it's uh, not your typical 5 to 7 km uh, earthquake level. You know, something's going on. Something's brewing down below a little bit. Got to watch that uh, pretty closely, no doubt. Anyway, folks, not a whole lot going on. Uh, I'm not going to make this an extended update. Not a whole lot to talk about in Yellowstone. In fact, there's nothing. How many weeks is this now with no activity? Something weird going on there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot, folks. I'm just going to hang out uh, with a nephew tonight and uh, just have a safe Saturday evening uh, away from uh, the masses, you know, the, the large masses that that are out there and going crazy tonight. You know, I'm not saying you can't go out and party or have fun and party, but, uh, you know, it's just not my thing. Not Just not my thing. I feel safer at home and, uh, you know, kind of here, just here. <laughs> I feel safer. I don't know what it is, but, you know, the comforts of your own home can't, uh, uh, it's just, there's no match, there's no price you can put on that. Anyway, folks, um, have a good day, good night, good evening. I will be watching the stream here. It's back up and running. Uh, like I said, pg and &E gave me a call yesterday, let me know the power would be down uh, temporarily, about 6 o'clock my time. And sure enough, uh, about 6.05 is when the stream went down. And I completely spaced it off. Um, but everything's back up and running. We're good to go. No computer issues. That was pg and &E's error, or not error, but pg and &E's doing. Uh, pg and &E, of course, is Pacific Gas and Electric. That's our utility company out here in California, at least certain areas of California. All right, folks, some storming, some uh, geomagnetic storming going on there, too. You can see the elevated aurora forecast there. Looking at G2, uh, potentially 6 with a 35% chance M latitude seeing the aurora borealis tonight. That's pretty good, actually. 75% uh, chance in the higher latitude, so... Be on guard up there on the mid-latitude level and also the higher latitudes for potential uh, uh, some awesome skies, right? Be nice to have a little campfire, bonfire, and roast some marshmallows and uh, check out the Aurora Borealis when it comes through. All right, guys, have a good night. Catch you a little bit later. Stay safe.